Good afternoon, uh, Brad Waller, Dan Early. It's a pleasure to uh, bring you guys together. And the reason we're bringing you together is that Brad is a longtime investor in Origin Clear, and he just committed some funding to the Water on Demand program, which is a way to get equipment prepaid and put out on these long-term service contracts we call water purchase agreements. And over here, Dan Early is our chief engineer, and he's been the one who has been most aggressively um, discussing various uh, projects that could fit that, um, that mode. And we call this design, build, own, operate, DBOO. You, now design and build is what the company currently does. We build it, we ship it, collect and goodbye. And of course there's consumables after that, but there's not a lot of service goes on after that. And then there's DB operate, which would be just to do, be the operator, uh, outsourced operator on behalf of the customer. But the ultimate is all four letters where we also own the equipment and the client treats us like a utility, like we're the city and there's a meter and they're paying on the meter. And, and there's also on top of it, a certain requirement, certain level of quality we reached. So this is potentially a, a big win for the client because they can kind of wash their hands of the whole problem, don't have a capital issue, uh, but it's also very rich for us because we get this ongoing services revenue. So it's a beautiful vision and I'm so happy it's finally coming to fruition. Um, so Brad, I just wanted to ask you, you, just a few days ago, you made a commitment to our, in, to our famous Ken Berenger to invest in Water to Men. I did. Um, I had a good conversation with Ken and he explained to me generally what you were doing, maybe not as much detail as you just went into about the DBOO, but um, yeah, I, I've been a longtime investor, longtime believer in your visions. Um, and I, you know, I invest in people. So Riggs is the reason I'm here from the very beginning. And he's the reason I'm still here. Yes. And I, and I'm still here probably because Dan is still here. So it's kind of a circular thing for purposes of matching this to potential projects. Do you mind t telling us how much you committed to for this? I committed to a hundred K investment. All right. hundred thousand dollars. All right. Now, Dan, we know you have a roster. We've been, we've been reporting on this uh, almost every week where it's going and so forth. Now I don't think hundred K quite buys a full project, but tell us a little bit about where this money might go and flesh out what kind of projects it might go to. Well, the good news is just, just earlier this week, we secured purchase orders for uh, two projects that have been in our pipeline uh, for the last six months or so. Um, they are, both systems are 10,000 gallon per day uh, wastewater treatment systems. They are what we refer to the Averis Kid treatment system. It's our above ground containerized plug and play advanced treatment solution. The, the two particular customers that we are working with and will be servicing and delivering equipment to, they are both uh, residential opportunities. They are single family uh, decentralized applications where these customers are not connected to public sewer. They're off the, off the beaten path. Um, and these, um, these customers have a demand and, a, and an immediate need for on-site wastewater treatment. One of them is an existing, well, both of them are existing customers. Uh, both of them are kind of similar and, and, and unique all at the same time, a little bit of difference between the two. Uh, one customer has to upgrade and provide additional treatment uh, for more stringent effluent permitting limits. And in doing and in, in committing to an upgrade for their customers, their current customer base, they are very interested in a, uh, a future ownership and operations uh, capacity where we could come in and can assume that um, that level of ownership and operations. The other customer, uh, existing single family residential development, and they are in an area that is uh, under the pressure, under development pressures. Um, just it's in, located in Texas, huge demand for real estate. In fact, not All far from our own headquarters, right? Very, yes, uh, about 30, about approximately 30 minutes away from our headquarters in McKinney, Texas, there in North mm -hmm. Texas. This, this particular project is really the one that, that I like the most of the two that we've picked up this week. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Existing uh, 10 units uh, subdivision, currently 10 customers connected to an existing central utility. The, the board is going to commit to an expansion. They're going to add a, a more, um, they're going to add one of our decentralized wastewater treatment systems, our Averis Kid system, so that they can add another 30, another 20 additional customers. So they're going to go from 10 customers to 30 customers decentralized utility, and they very much want to explore 
the, the double O portion of the DBOO. They want to look at the operations where we can provide the service, the ongoing service, but they are very interested in the ownership aspect of it, where after they build out as a developer, they make their money, they hand over the title and the keys to the, the utility, and we assume that asset, or we take over that asset. And what's really cool about that is, is that you got new equipment, new infrastructure, we, pray, we brought it in, we know what quality and the condition it's in, and now you've got a continuous, you've got a revenue generating model, a utility model. So that customer right there, um, they committed to a purchase order this week, Give you some, Brad, just give you some sense of the price tag of these two systems. Both of them are in the low $200,000 range. Uh, one of them was about $210,000. The other one was about $225,000. Um, so it's a very typical of our smaller treatment systems at 10,000 gallons per day. So now, one of them is the, uh, the, the 10 home residential moving to 30, adding 30, correct. is that right? Uh, adding 20 for a total of 30. Okay, good. And the other one is a mobile home park actually, right? It's an existing mobile home park. I think the total connection count on that one is about somewhere about 50, about 50 connections. Um, and that one's located in Pennsylvania, existing utility permitted, and they just need to commit to a, to a new infrastructure system. And that's what we're providing for them. The engineer, the consultants that work for that, uh, that have worked for the mobile home park really loved our containerized plug and play delivery. It is so fast. That's the key to it is it delivers it plugs in and it goes into operation within a matter of a few days. The old tried and true model usually would take 30 to 60 days, really extensive, long, drawn out, very expensive. So we are, we're focusing on a much more efficient delivery model when it comes to delivering decentralized wastewater. Um, any, any questions? Does that, does that make sense? Well, and in fact, what's great about that is being able to repossess the unit in case of non-performance, which makes it easier for us to be in the rental business without, you know, extracting personal guarantees or whatever, you know, we just look, rent it, you know, pay first and last, whatever. Um, you got it. You don't pay. We'll just, you know, stick it, stick it back on a, on a semi trailer and take it home. Right. So that, that is uh, very attractive, very attractive. There's a leverage. Yeah. With the ownership, with the ownership operate the, uh, the ownership and operating ca capability that we have, that is a huge leverage point. It really is. And how permanent or semi-permanent is the installation? Is it the kind of, since Rick did, did say, you know, you hook up the semi, take it away. Is it like just on a cement pad and ready to go or enclosed? Hey, how, how does it look? It, it is. It, the, the, the Averiskid system, and, I, and we'll be glad to share um, brochures and technical documents to, that really describe the product in more detail, but the Averiskid system is containerized. And it shows up and it basically bolts down to a, uh, a concrete pad and it's a pipe and a pipe in and a pipe out connection and a power connection and the system's ready to go. It is an extremely fast delivery model. It is very unique to this industry. And it's quite frankly, it's where the industry is needed to go for the longest time. Well, in fact, uh, I'll, I can show you a picture right now. Here it is. Uh, this is the Averiskid. So it is a rigid structure, um, permanent. And uh, as you said, Brad, it'll go on a concrete pad um, and, um, you know, it, it, but it is still can be lifted off because it is a, con it is a container. So it's the best of both worlds. It is. And as far as the, uh, the permanence of it too, Brad, you're asking a good question. What, what is the anticipated life cycle? The, what is unique about the Averiskid system is that while it does use an external metal steel container system for the box, we use a structural plastic rectangular plastic water tank system, compartmentalized water tank system on the inside of the Averiskid unit, there is no wastewater that comes in contact with the steel structure. So the plastic, the, re, the re, structural plastic system will give us a continuous duty life cycle of the structure itself equal to 50 years, if not much, much longer than that. Um, if you keep a decent coat of paint on the outside of the container unit or dress it up with some sheet metal architectural detailing, it'll last equally as long. So really what that is a, the, the approach that we are promoting into the industry around this decentralized plug and play model is radically different than what you have seen in the old conventional steel and concrete delivery models of the past half century. Decentralization is the future when it comes to, if you're not in the public, if you're not in a big metropolitan region and you don't have access to public water and public sewer, you have to, you have to build your own. And this is the way you build your own. So I can see that the performance here, we, we're moving from uh, almost almost uh, non non recordable 
levels of um, you know, suspended solids and bio, bio, biological oxygen demand, which is basically a measure of how polluted it is. So, um, and you're talking well, cluster residential pro, uh, development right here, there we go. So, or an RV park, et cetera. So this seems like it's, um, uh, we have a product line, the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and this is a 10K. And um, the equipment is, um, you know, a full container, a 40 foot container. And, mm -hmm. um, and it, uh, it, what, what is this uh, submerged unit? What is that? Those are the, those are, those images right here on the screen are images of flat plate membrane modules. Those are the, those are the filtration modules that uh, provide the, the final filtration before we discharge. These are tertiary treatment units. These are advanced treatment units. These are these systems. And another thing, Brad, that's really unique about what we do, what I'm really pleased with is we have focused on advanced technologies, taking the, the most capable uh, treatment function to the, to the customer. This allows us to provide reuse and reclamation capabilities. So instead of treating your wastewater, just dumping it out in the environment, goodbye, we see, see, the, see the water later. We have the ability to recover and to reuse this water. I, I know that we are, I've got another customer out in California just earlier this week. It's exact same, same model, brand new development, 25 units. They want this plug and play model and they want to reclaim the water because the water scarcity issue that they have out there in California. That's right. Unless, I'm very familiar with um, ongoing mega droughts. Where are you based, Brad? I'm in Redondo Beach. Bingo. California. <laughs> so you know the feeling uh, and I feel you. But um, I, the, the, the issue is really that this is one of the great benefits of decentralization is now the customer can, they're paying for the water being treated, so they might as well reuse it and get a free ride. Um, now there's practical limits to how many times it can be recycled, but at least once, I think is, is, is it fair to say, is a fair amount of recycling. You'll get about, you know, 70% um, reuse out of, out of the water. And um, I, I saw figures, for example, for a brewery, they can reuse um, if it's just for washdowns and and uh, so forth, not not for reuse as beer. They can still reuse fifty percent of the water for those purposes. So, so there's definite definitely a, a, a advantage in doing so. That's really interesting that we're doing these Correct. embarrassed kids, uh, and that you have a product line. It is. It is now the Avera Skid unit, and as you can see through our website, as, as Riggs was showing you there, we have what I call our five standard models. And I, I always compare this, our, our selling model is almost like going down to the automobile dealership, going down to the local Ford dealership. And you wanna buy a Ford F-150, F-250, F-350, F-450. You just pick the, the unit that suits your needs, suits your capacity needs. You select the options you need for whatever your permit requirements are. And, and we deliver that system. It, it is, we have tried to, we are commoditizing and streamlining and simplifying the engineering, the permitting, the fabrication, and the delivery, mm -hmm. breaking all of breaking, getting breaking away from all of the old manufacturing and fabrication models that have basically been the mainstay for the last half century when it comes to decentralized water. And while this is the wastewater side of it, what is really cool is that we have our clean water side, and we can do the exact same thing. We can do turnkey, closed loop, water, potable water, and containerized systems, or even more sophisticated delivery models. And we can have our decentralized wastewater packages on the back end and we can complete the water cycle. So and that's really interesting because, you know, we, a lot of people ask us about clean water, you know, treating water to make it cleaner. And, um, and we're actually getting a lot of deal flow in that area. It's, it's starting to really uh, pick up, isn't it? It is. It is, Riggs. The um, good case in point would be the hospitality customer that we've most recently been working with. We just successfully commissioned a point of use advanced drinking water filtration system and what is the, the the ugly the ugly secret is the ugly reality that we deal with is is that while public utilities are out there to provide safe drinking water for the for their masses for the customer base most of these utilities still struggle to provide clean water for their customers and we've got a number of savvy um, hospitality clients that recognize that hey we probably need to protect our investment in our major resorts and our hospitality uh, facilities, and they will invest in point of use water where they take city water, and they will make sure they treat it to an advanced standard before they send it on to their customers and the, the clients that use their hotels and their resorts. So that's just another example of, um, of, the, of the ability to provide water on demand. 
It's a beautiful thing. So what's going to happen next, of course, is uh, once once Brad his funds end up in the Water on Demand Number One Inc. subsidiary, <laughs> then um, what's going to happen is it's be aggregated with other people's investment. And this is what's great is it's a pool um, because early on we saw that there were regulatory issues with Brad investing directly in a piece of water equipment in Pennsylvania, state regulations. It was very complicated. So we we solved it by basically having a pool, and so his his money comes in. Uh, we then package it up, put it under contract, and then implement the full managed services. And then Brad sees 25% of net profits over a period of 25 years or whenever the, um, the fund is wrapped up, whichever comes first, uh, in addition, of course, to all his stock and warrant benefits, which are really nice. <laughs> What's great about this is, Brad, is you are ensuring a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because the beauty of this is, is that this is a preload of cash into Origin Clear's um, coffers, right? It's, it's not going to pay um, salaries. It's going to pay directly for equipment. And that results in direct revenue and profits, which shows up on our, on our um, quarterly and annual filings. So what you're doing is you're directly driving uh, the fundamentals of the company. And you're making sure, darn sure, that, that we're going to succeed. So I think that it's um, probably a big part of why Long-time investors like you are saying, uh, "Yeah, I think I, I think this could be, um, uh, you know, doing doing um, a good thing for myself and also for the company." Yeah, it's nice to do that and not be depending and saying, "Okay, now that I've done that, we're hoping that Series A comes in or Series B comes in, and then the company will be great." Here, it's we're doing it, and it's going to go directly into the bottom line. It's a beautiful thing. Well, we're grateful to have a a. a a deep bench of, of longtime investors like you, Brad. Thank you for thank you for being on board all this time. And Dan, I love your what you're doing here. It's dynamic, it's brilliant. And we are with this this call, we are entering a new era and I'm super excited. So thank you both to you and uh, let's have some fun, right? <laughs>